Hello Sagittarius and welcome to Deku Tarot. I'm going to be doing your January 21st to the 27th weekly tarot reading. We're going to look at um, your general energy and the general messages with my Aquarian tarot deck for you guys. Alright Sagittarius, um, this week we have the Leo full moon in total lunar eclipse where the sun is in zero degrees Aquarius, the moon is in zero degrees Leo on the 21st, or you know, the 20th into the 21st. Check out my um, Leo Full Moon and Total Lunar Eclipse video. It talks a lot about the energies. And again, these energies, <clears throat> the things that um, have been coming up last week, this week, um, they will continue on for the next six months forward. These, um, This whole process that this eclipse is bringing in, the energies, the um, situations, revelations, um, it's going to be changing to the next six months forward. It's kind of preparing us for that Uranus and Taurus. And um, again, I really recommend going to check out that video if you have not. Okay, guys? All right, Sagittarius. What is our energy this week? What is our general energy this week? And what pops right out is the Ten of Pentacles, which is pretty nice. We're feeling um, a deeper sense of security in our home base. We're probably feeling also very abundant, very secure with our family life, our home life. Um, really comforted. It does feel like we're coming to a culminative end here. Um, in a situation as well, because the Ten of Pentacles, Tens are usually culminations, ends of chapters, ends of cycles. Um, and the Ten of Pentacles, you know, it also speaks of a great amount of abundance, of feeling really steady and comfortable because we have accumulated wealth, we have accumulated, um, you know, a situation of comfort in our family matters and contentment, you know. Um, again, it does feel like we could be gaining a lot of money out of nowhere as well, and feeling, you know, then this money is going to last. Again, Ten of Pentacles isn't just like quick energy. It's lasting, building energy, and the money and a prosperity that doesn't just disappear. So we could be feeling um, a lot of energy like that this week, or, um, you know, feeling, again, very comfortable in the home, very prosperous, or having prosperity and abundance kind of roll in for the long term here, ending a cycle of um, hard work and suffering maybe. We just get some water. Alrighty. Let's see what we get here for your weekly messages. What's coming in this week for my Sagittarians? What will be happening this week for my Sagittarians? What will be happening in their lives this week? Energies for January 21st to the 27th of 2019 for my Sagittarians. Getting the tower reversed. Get the king of rods, nice. <clears throat> All right. Continue to show me what my Sagittarians will be experiencing, what will be coming in in their lives this week. Oh, too many cards. And they're all face side down. Let's see. Sagittarians. I'm going to pull this one. Four of Swords reversed. Sagittarians for 21st to the 27th of January. We last get the Fool. I almost wanted to put it on its, um, you know, reverse. So let's get some clarifiers because that has an interesting message there to me. Um, okay. Wow. Tower reverse. Let's clarify the Tower reverse. We don't like to ignore that guy. So we're looking right at it. This is your energy right here, King of Rods. Seven of Rods. Clarify the Tower and the King of Rods here. We get the Star. Wow. And there we have that Leo Aquarian energy. So again, please go check out that Full Moon reading. Again, those energies are huge this week. Huge last week, huge this week. A lot of powerful revelations, a lot of powerful messages and shifts happening here. Um, Eight of Swords. Let's see what we get for Four of Swords, Reversed, and the Fool. Seven of Pentacles. And this has shown up many times this week, actually. Um, so check out the readings for your Sun, Moon, and Rising. We have a lot of repeating cards here, honestly. A lot of um, messages that I feel like are relating to other messages for other signs here. It's really interesting. Um, the Tower Reversed, though. Wow, what an energy there. Um, when I see the Tower Reverse, it can mean a couple of different things, but with the Seven of Rods, there's a need to defend ourselves. We're defending ourselves against opposition. We feel that maybe people are coming at us at this time. We need to stand up for ourselves and kind of put down any naysayers or any um, aspect of ourselves that is, or aspect of others that is fighting 
what we're trying to do here. It could also be when the tower is reversed that there's a feeling that is bubbling up that we need to deal with, and we could be, be we could be acting very defensively against it because we don't want to deal with this. The tower, when it is reversed, is not really falling, or it might have just kind of um. I don't know. It kind of feels like someone's trying to threaten our freedom here. Someone's trying to oppose our own freedom, and we're like, no, I can do this. You don't tell me what to do. You don't tell me how to live. Um, with that seven of rods, you know, it does feel like we're outnumbered almost. We feel like we're being outnumbered in a situation where we have to constantly, you know, stand up for ourselves here, stand up for our freedom. Freedom. Aquarius talks about our freedom, but also kind of, you know, um, Leo and Aquarius both talk about our freedom within ourselves and our freedom, you know, in the collective. And, you know, where do we stand? Who are we? And these types of, you know, this type of energy is coming up here and we're really looking at it. We're like, no, this is who I am. I do believe in myself. So if anyone has come through your life and tried to mess with you, I mean, we could be dealing with that also like on a lesser degree of a tower situation where a big fight, a big disagreement, and we're like, no, I'm going to stand up for myself. I'm not letting you take down my tower. I'm not ready for this. I'm not doing this right now. I would rather heal. I would rather believe in myself. However, it's kind of interesting because we're having a lot of it. <laughs> and again, I talk about this in my full moon video that I put up, but there's a lot of things that are coming to the surface here that need to be looked at that we either put down in the past, maybe again, this could be this could have been a past situation. We could be looking back at a situation where we were opposing, you know, this com the coming down of a tower, honestly. And tried to heal past it, tried to get through it because we were like, no, right now is not the time to deal with this. But the Four of Swords reverse and the Eight of Swords kind of tells me that we're impatient to move beyond something. We're impatient to get somewhere, to have this new beginning and but we haven't done the work here we haven't worked on this we haven't reviewed this so whatever this tower situation is it feels like something from the past is coming up here again a situation a cycle and again i feel like we're having all these things that are cropping up that need to be reviewed at this time it's coming up for all the signs again this eclipse energy is bringing up things about ourselves and this is about you this is more of an internal struggle than somebody's opposing you externally this is very internal this eclipse energy doesn't mean that someone's going to come running to you and offer you this and do that you know don't expect that kind of energy right away when this all strikes you know and even in this week it's kind of like the lightning struck and now we're getting these revelations we're getting these sorts of um in, we're getting information or just knowledge even just through ourselves, just understanding situations from different points of view here um situations where i feel we have been blocking ourselves, because the eight of swords says if you take off this blindfold you can see your way out of this but we don't want to take off that blindfold yet we're too afraid to and we don't even realize that we're the ones who have put ourselves in this position this just feels like crisis slander you know whatever we're dealing with here we're wanting to move beyond it we're wanting to heal and to move beyond this we're wanting to get to a different level and get and bypass all this crap that's coming up right now however the seven of pentacles says yes you're almost there you're going to have that new beginning but we have to work on all this first we have to sit down and treat each of each one of these issues that's cropping up here like a pentacle we have to treat it like a situation at work we have to work through it we have to feel through this we have to see through this situation here because in our haste to move beyond this, and Sagittarius, you guys are known for having a lot of energy. I mean, Sagittarian season always drains everybody because they're there, they're doing this, doing that. And a lot of people, and again, because you, because you are in contact and are popular again, with a lot of people, <laughs> it comes up a lot that, you know, people have issues with you because you're running this way, you're running that way. Oh, you're not giving me enough attention. Oh, you should have done this. Oh, you should have done that. And you're like, listen, I am not everybody's scapegoat. I'm, yes, I am this person, I'm the king of rods here, I have a lot of, you know, friends, I got a lot of power, I got a lot of responsibilities, but it, I draw the line at some points, you know, you have to draw the line and heal yourself too, otherwise we get ourselves into this situation where, we're, where we are exhausted, where we do need to rest, where we do need to stop, stop trying to rush forward here and see that maybe we need to review some things before we move on. What are we carrying with us? Who are we carrying with us? And why? What situation did we probably not deal with in the best? Maybe we were defensive um, in letting a situation really fully unfold the way it needed to. Maybe we put away some problems here 
for a later date and, you know, allowed it to, like, erupt a little bit, but we're like, no, 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 this will, it's fine now. But it's coming up again, and why is it coming up again? These are the situations that we need to look at. Why are we in this cycle of frustration, of feeling anxious, of um, feeling trapped and desiring to get out at any cost here? We're so desiring to get to this full point, and we're almost there, but there's something here that needs to be looked at again, something within you that's holding you back, something that you need to heal, something that we need to deal with from this Tower Seven of Rods situation. Again, I feel like for a lot of us, this is something from the past. I feel like a lot of people are, are having past situations that we kind of stuffed down and ignored come up at this time. That's what eclipses do. They bring that right to the surface, and you know, with Aquarius and Leo, they're slapping it in your face and saying, you thought you were over this, you thought you were done with this, but you're not. Allow yourself to feel about it. Stop defending against the total the eruption that needs to happen so that we can get to the star points, so that you can get to your power and realize, you know, where we've let things kind of go by the wayside, where we've, you know, rushed forward too much and not, you know, taken the time to really understand the situation, understand what we need instead of what we just want. And, you know, just continuing to do, do, do. We have to stop and really think about what are we carrying with us? What are we doing what are we attaching all of our energy and putting our energy and thoughts and time into here? Is it worth it? Is each one of these pentacles worth it? Because we can have this new beginning, we can have a prosperous new beginning, we can start anew, we can heal, we can have it all, but we have to kind of stop and review. And that's going to mean a lot of different things for a lot of you guys. And again, if you want to book a private reading and um, kind of sort that stuff out on your own or ask the questions that you feel you need the answers to at this time, um, all my information on booking private readings is right below this video in the description box. But again, this is big energies this week, and I don't want to delve too, too, too deep into it, because they are general readings. And I could just go on and on. <laughs> but um, those are the messages I was picking up for your general. Let's check out love and relationships. And I'm going to use my Klimt deck here for you guys. My Gustav Klimt deck for love and relationships for my Sagittarians for January 21st to the 27th. 2019, Sagittarians Love and Relationships. We get Nine of Swords. <laughs> interesting, interesting. A lot of Nine of Swords energies cropping up this week for a lot of signs. Again, check out the readings for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Especially if you have fixed sign positions. Again, we get that Four of Swords reversed. Love and relationships, and their love lives, relationships, partnerships, singles, couples. What are they going through? Three of Wands, Sagittarians, love and romance for this week. I'm feeling a lot of impatience from you guys, which is, ooh, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of, these are like all swords and wands here. There's a desire to move forward, and yet there's a Three of Swords, which is kind of blocking the way there. So let's get some clarifiers. Clarify the Nine of Swords and the Four of Swords reversed here. Clarify the messages of the Nine of Swords and the Four of Swords reversed. We get the Two of Wands. Clarify the Four of Swords reversed to the Three of Wands. Let's bring up these energies. Okay, there it is. Leo in the middle. Or Strength in the middle there. Again, I feel like, again, it's that energy. It's that Eclipsian energy where something is being thrown in our face here. Or maybe even some of us want to attach that sign to it. Um, could be a Leo. Three of Wands, Three of Swords. What's happening there in terms of love and relationships for my Sagittarians? Hangman reversed. Okay. This is some intense energy. You guys are going through something this week in your relationships, and um, if it is gonna, if it's gonna be a tough week, which it feels like it is here for a lot of you. And again, this reading is not going to resonate with all of you. That's okay. That's why we have different placements, different signs to check out there. Okay, um, this is some big energy. So the nine of swords reversed here. That's that's harsh, harsh, painful, awful energy in my opinion. You know, it's the nightmare card. Um, you know, it's trying to liberate ourselves of a worry, of despair, of remorse. We're feeling really discouraged, really lost, like we're waking up in the middle of the night and wondering why are things the way they are right now. Um, maybe we went through a very difficult time and we're trying to see where things are going. 
and we're trying to look at and get if we're in a relationship we could have been going through a nine of swords moment here where we're having huge fights or you know some type of cataclysmic like situation here that allows us to kind of look forward on how do we strengthen this relationship this is what i want from it if you want to stay with this person i feel like a lot of you guys want to stay you want to try to figure out how to work through this year um, you have an impatience to kind of move forward though and because you're being impatient about it we're not really taking the time out to really look at the situation talk about it and see maybe that some of the problems that are cropping up here within the relationship are our own inner demons our own inability to you know overcome our issues of insecurities um, our own strength and confidence in ourselves as well is often what I see you know Maybe not, we may not be thinking clearly again because that's what um, I want to say. Do not make any huge decisions the week before or after um, eclipses or full moons or new moons. It's just a bad idea. The energies are all over the place. You know, it's going to be really intense, especially because it's so intense right now. Don't make any huge decisions. Again, we're not thinking clearly. It's really the energy that I get here. We're wanting to move forward and the situation has jaded our thinking. We're in an emotional state right now. We're all in our heads and we need to ground ourselves more in reality. We're all thoughts and feelings and I gotta communicate this, I gotta feel this because this hurts right now and I need this and like it's all urges and id and we need to, <laughs> we need to really focus more on grounding ourselves and taking that time out because the hey man reverse here says that we're not taking the time out that we need to we're ignoring the call to look within to take you know a step back here and review what has happened to talk about it to work things out to go kind of into recluse about the situation because there's a three of swords and a three of wands so it feels like yes we want to move things forward here but it's heartbreak if we want to move forward through this we have to take the time out otherwise we're you know treating this like it's nothing and we can just you know you know, oh, this sucked and everything, but let's just move on past it and keep on going. This is where I want to go. Well, if you want to go there, we have to put in the work now. Okay, so this looks like a, you know, a watershed moment in a relationship for somebody out there, even if this is one Sagittarius, or this could resonate with all of you. Um, some of us here that are single, I'm getting, you know, again, that we're trying to rush forward because we don't want to be alone. We don't want to feel alone and worried and you know, upset, things haven't been working out, so instead of really putting thought and effort into ourselves and what we need at this time and why that might not be working because of what's within us and the energy that we're giving off, we're trying to rush forward and rush through this, but in reality, by pushing forward on something that isn't ready to be pushed forward on, something that we need to take a step back from, garner some strength here, garner some, oh my god, I can't speak right now. <laughs> garner some you know gather some strength here gather some some it's like you need to be more confident in yourself you need to believe in yourself here you need to see that whatever you're worried about whatever stops you from having healthy relationships is a need to slow down and look at it within you and it's going to be different for everybody i can't tell you all like why you know if you're single and you've been single forever why you are like Sometimes we're just not in a relationship, but that's okay. But we have to love ourselves, um, you know, through it. We can't be feeling the heartbreak again and again because things aren't turning out the way we want to. Why aren't they turning out the way we want to? Are we chasing relationships and people and ideals that no longer serve us or that are not healthy for us? We have to look within here. We're being asked very strongly to slow down and look within at this time, despite, you know, the push to push forward. Because there's going to be a push to run away and live in fantasy and do this and do that. We can just, you know, skate over this. You can't do that. You can't do this this time. And if you do, you know, it's not, it's going to be your undoing this week. This energy is very important that we open ourselves up to it and really try to learn from it. Because again, these things that are coming up are huge. They're huge for all the signs. So again, check out your other readings for the week. They might have some really important messages for you. All right, let's get a message from Spirit for my Sagittarians for January 21st to the 27th of 2019. You and Leo wanted to rush forward this week, I swear. All right, Vampire, Emotional Intelligence. It's a good card for you guys, I feel like. All right. The deepest, the coldest, the craving of the blood, the hole never filled, the longing like a flood. Should the vampire card appear in your reading, it may indicate that you are being drained in this way and the time has come for stronger boundaries. 
We need to be very aware of what gives us energy in our lives and what takes it away. We should be aware of needing people to need us and why we invite people like this into our homes, workplaces, and lives, if indeed we have them around us. Developing the emotional intelligence within ourselves helps us defend against this kind of emotional and psychic attack and enables us to foster healthy, equal relationships of all kinds. So again, we need to really look at, again, what takes our energy this week. And I feel like that, again, came up for you guys several times. What are we putting our energy into? Um, and we're, we're letting it drain us. We're letting situations and things that we keep trying to push forward on drain us. Or, again, we could be draining situations by pushing too much. And we need to be aware of that this week, okay? We need to, again, like, develop some emotional intelligence here. We need to defend against anyone that's also trying to take too much from us and this in the same kind of respect of, you know, pushing too much onto other people. We need to develop stronger boundaries or be really, again, aware of what we're putting our energy and time into the, at this time, okay? Because it might not be great and we might need to put that back into ourselves and really look within at what's not working within us, what's imbalanced within us, what is bringing up these situations and problems, these feelings, Okay. All right, check out the um, weekly readings for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. We are not just our sun sign. Um, check out your yearly readings, guys. Those are up for um, 2019 through 2020. They have a lot of important messages for the year ahead and the um, changes we will be going through. Um, also, guys, um, thank you so much for all of your support. And if you haven't, please do share, oh my God, subscribe and share. And um, when I get to 10,000 subscribers, I will be doing a huge giveaway. So thank you guys so much and have a wonderful week.